no. You are so cute. Oh, she's oh she's such a tease. She is such a tease. Yes, that is a tease. Can I have that ball? Oh, is it for me? Oh, you are so cute. It's playful. Playful girl. Catch a ball. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, you let me have Oh no, she's not gonna let me have the ball. You. I see you. You're so cute. You are the cutest. I think you're the most beautiful girl. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can. Oh, she's such a tease. Such a tease. Oh, look who has the ball now. Look who has the ball now. Boop. Ooh, boop. You want this ball? You're going to go get it? Go get that ball. Go get it. I think we need to work on our um, fetching skills because, yeah, she's not going to go get the ball. Really? Really? You're not going to go get the ball? Oh, my goodness. Now you're going to pout? Yes. I fetched the ball. Oh, my gosh. You can get it. Get the ball. Come on. You can get that ball. Oh, Sadie. You are not this lazy. <laughs> there. There. My little tiny um, one stem left of my basil plant. So I'm going to be taking probably four of those leaves for today's recipe. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Melinda, my husband Chris. Peek around here and say hi. Hi there, how are you guys doing? <laughs> Today we're just gonna be in the kitchen. We're going to make um, sun-dried tomato chicken breast. And it's just an easy recipe that's super healthy. There's no added sugar, which is our number one thing. Which, by the way, Chris got an excellent report yesterday. Woo woo for you. Yep, they said everything was good. So um, yeah, we're doing it right. Good stuff. What, what I've done here, I've already sprinkled it with this. I use just a little bit of garlic powder. I just sprinkle it on the chicken. And then I use um, lemon pepper, just a little bit of lemon pepper. And I just kind of sprinkle it like that. It doesn't have to be everywhere because it's gonna go with that. Okay, this is so easy, guys. Okay, you get a gallon size like freezer bag or Ziploc bag and you just put your chicken breasts in it. And this was three chicken breasts that I I cut into smaller pieces and now I have to wash my hands. Remember to sing your happy birthday when you're doing that. That's right. Well, I just don't want cross contamination. I don't want salmonella growing on my spice jars. <laughs> That's reasonable. Okay. There you go, thank you. Okay, so now you've got your chicken in the bag and it's just, you open. Oh, there's like a little plastic ring around it. I thought I took that off, but I guess not. Kind of scatterbrained. Okay, there we go. Just pop the top and you just dump it into this bag, all of it. Okay, and then I took I actually took five leaves off of my little basil plant and you just put that in with it as well. And Does fresh basil work better than the dried basil? Well, it doesn't work better. I just think it has a little fresher taste. I, I mean, it just gives it, plus it adds a little green. But when I don't have fresh, I will use the dried. It just takes a little less, uh, the dried, Spices and herbs are usually a little stronger, you know, from the process. Okay, that's what it looks like. And now you're just gonna stick this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, even an hour is fine. We usually eat early because Chris, I've said this is probably the fifth time I've shared with you, but he is like a third shift worker. So, oh, here I am. There's my cameraman. <laughs> um, he works third shift as I've told you many times. And um, so we eat early. We eat usually by five, 5.15. We're having dinner and then 
He gets leftovers for his, we call it his second supper, but that's usually around two o'clock in the morning. So, all right, I'm gonna get this marinating and I will be back to show you what we do next. So while the chicken's marinating, I thought I would just pop back on real quick and explain. Um, I had said that Chris had his doctor's appointment yesterday and it was really good, which it was. And as you know, he's diabetic, not on insulin, because we've corrected so much of his, his blood sugar levels with our diet. But the doctor said that if he maintains this, they're gonna be able to lower his medication. See, he does take pill form, um, like I think it's called glipicide, of, for diabetic medication. So that was great. So I just thought I would share that little bit with you because so it would make a little more sense why we were kind of celebrating and so happy about that because he's doing really good. This diet, like I said before, I hate to call it a diet because I don't feel like it is. We just eat right. We just eat better. We we don't eat a lot of processed. Now, I'm not going to say we don't eat any processed because you've seen my groceries. You know we do. And sometimes we do have a treat that's got a little bit of sugar in it because it's kind of hard to go 100% sugar-free. So, um, he can have, I think... I think he can have 36 grams per day, but most days he doesn't even have half that. So we're just really careful. And when we do have a treat, it's like super small portions and things like that. Okay, it has been about 35 minutes. I've got the chicken out of the fridge. I have some olive oil. This is what I use. Um, heating in the pan. And what you do is you just sort of sear the chicken and you put everything, you put the chicken and everything that's in this bag in the pan, then you add some chicken broth and pop it in your oven. So, just letting the oil heat so that it is ready. All right, it should be heated enough. Oh, this is so gross, but it washes off, so. Oh, there's no sizzle, we didn't let it heat quite enough. your pieces of chicken. Some of it looks a little like that because I trim off all the fats and anything. I don't I don't like fatty stuff. So. Okay. That. And now you just take all of this and you just sort of put it on top. And it'll just sear on the one side, on the bottom. You want to use the the julienne cut sun dried tomatoes. I know you can get them whole, but if you get them already pre cut, it's so much easier. Okay. Let's see the tomatoes and the basil, and now I'm gonna wash my hands. Of course you are. Okay. It's sizzling and uh, searing, so now I'm going to add some chicken broth to it. A lot of this will cook down, and between the olive oil and the oil that's in with the um, sun-dried tomatoes, it, it doesn't make like a thick sauce, but it's it's really tasty and it's good the chicken is always really moist and i don't add salt because the tomatoes the way they process them i guess end up having pretty salty content so now i'm gonna put it in the oven Woo! okay i just wanted to add real quick that um the sides i'm making are the sides we typically have on a weeknight with our food um, so i probably won't show preparing this because we're going to have cauliflower rice, which I showed you in our last video, what we do to that. He has to have beans. And then we will have some broccoli. So that's what we're going to have with this meal, but I'm gonna skip that because I've either already shown it or it's pretty self-explanatory. Dinner's not quite ready, but Sadie is. Sadie's ready for carrots, aren't you? So about five more minutes. And this is what it will look like when it comes out of the oven. I let it bake for about 40 minutes on 375 and it smells really good. Mm. 
And dinner is served. Sadie couldn't wait. She got the carrot because she pouts. So you guys have a great day and we'll catch you next time. Hi friends, I'm Sadie. And I think you should like this video. Click subscribe and the little bell too. That way you know every time my mommy and daddy upload a new video. Thanks!